Hey everyone, my name is Alexandra and I am a watercolor artist. Today I am taking you guys outside to paint. I wanted to do something a little bit different, so this is just practice with shapes, adding some shading. Um, yeah, basic practice with painting leaves and I have some branch from some wild leaves from outside here, so we're gonna paint them together. Let's get started. For today's practice, what I want you guys to do is either get some leaves, a branch, flowers, anything from outside, and you need either a light that shines and casts a shadow, or I have the sunshine here. And what we're gonna do is, I have this branch of leaves. I am going to outline the shadows. So I'm holding it, let me just find a good position for it. <laughs> find the right spot that I like in the sun. Okay, so to try to not shade myself, I'm holding it over my paper and I am just with my pencil loosely outlining what I can see. So I'm just focusing on outlining the shadow that I see. And it is a little bit tricky in that you have to kind of get out of the way of yourself if you're using the sun like I am. So I'm doing it at a bit of an awkward angle, but the nice thing is it doesn't really matter. I essentially just want to get the loose shapes of the shadow that I see. All right, so there you have it. My tendency is to go back in and add more lines, but I'm just gonna leave it. So the idea with this practice is that we are just taking colors, we're gonna paint in exactly where we drew, and then we can go back in and outline with pen if we want to after. Um, yeah, but the whole concept is for practicing loose botanicals and florals. So that's why tracing the shadow is actually a really good way just to get the shapes of what you see and nothing is too defined. It sort of forces you to paint a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more loose. So that is our plan for today. So I'm gonna start with some green. The first layer that we're gonna start with is going to be lighter and I'm just gonna go in and paint in my shapes. All right, so as I paint in where my pencil lines are, you'll notice that I'm sort of just painting <laughs> blobs in. The paint sort of runs into each other, so you can't quite see defined leaves right now but that is okay for this. I want you guys to just trust the process and it will work out. So I have a few different tones of green. I'm going some that are a bit more blue, some that are a bit more yellow, just because I want that mixture in my painting. So I'm just continuing to find where I've drawn the pencil lines. I'm just adding my paint in. Now I'm gonna go in wherever it's still damp and just add a bit more color to it. So I just wanna mix it with, with some more yellow. So right away you guys can see that this is done very loosely. Yeah, not, not with too much detail, but you can already start to see the branch, the leaves where all of that is. So the next thing that I'm going to do is go in and paint my branches. So I'm going in, this time I can kind of see on my actual branch different color tones there. So the first thing I'm gonna go in with is sort of a brown gray. We're just gonna come from the top of our painting here and we're gonna work 
our way down. Now with the same color, I'm gonna do the same. I have some guiding lines where I could see the branches and in the spots that I missed it, I can kind of follow where I see the movement of the branch going. So from here, I can see that the natural branch would be from the top down to the bottom here. So again, just starting with that gray color and then as I look more closely at my branch here, I can see that there's some yellow and a bit of red in it. So we're gonna add that in. I'm just adding to the bottom here. I've mixed in sort of a gray, brown, red here. It's a mix of all the colors, but just to get some more of those warm tones. And I'm gonna use my paintbrush and just add the lines in. So I'm kind of just following where I already see lines, but I'm gonna go in and add some more. So I can see there's another section here. So we'll add in. Just sort of fill in the gaps. Some red there. And again, immediately you can see my branch coming together. So now we're gonna go and add some details. I can see here that there's some little pink um, buds starting to grow. So we're gonna add some of those in and then we'll go in after with some more green details. So they have sort of this purplish pinkish color. And I can see where I drew my pencil that the first little set kind of clusters at the end of this bundle here. So we're just gonna do some little dots. And then I can see I have another little cluster here. So I'm just gonna add it in there. And with all of this that I'm adding, I'm not being too precise. I'm sort of just jotting my paint in. You can see some more pink there. And then I can see the last bit of pink right in here. So the other thing you notice too, if you're painting outside, is that the paint dries a lot faster, especially when you're in the sun like this. So I have to work a little bit quicker with anywhere that I want to add shading. So the next thing that we're gonna go to is adding some detailing to the leaves. Um, with this part, I will yeah, be moving a little quicker just to get everything painted before it dries. So I'm gonna go and I'm mixing some more paint. And this one, I'm doing it a little bit darker than what I already have down. And we're just gonna start, yeah, painting in what we see really. So if I'm starting on this left side, I can see that this leaf on the one end sort of curls over. So I'm just gonna work my way in and give it a bit, of a bit of a bend there. I can see that there's some shading in behind here. So I'm keeping everything still very loose, very natural. And I'm just adding some color in. Right now, if I'm going to these leaves, I can see where they have some more definition as well. So we're gonna paint this one in. It seems to be bigger. And then this one kind of comes facing the other way. I'm just gonna add some details there. So essentially what I'm doing with this type of painting is I started with my shadows. Now I'm looking at my actual branch and I'm just seeing where I can see darker and lighter and I'm not so focused on this is a leaf shape, but I'm a little bit more focused on, okay, I can see if I'm looking right about here, I can see that there's a leaf that is facing towards me. So the color is darker than the ones that are facing away. I'm just gonna paint that in and I can see some little ones here that do the same thing. And 
In this cluster of green, as I look closer, I can see that there's actually a few leaves in there. So I'm just gonna separate it up a little bit. And then we're just gonna continue the same concept as we work our way up each of the branches. So you can see that we have some little ones facing forward. I'm just gonna add a bit more yellow into that. So I find it's very easy to get stuck on the fine details of painting. So this is a really good way to just pull yourself away from that, look at the bigger picture a little bit, and not be so focused on getting everything really precise. Leaves are really fun to do for this style just because they are very naturally like they they move they flow they're random um, flowers are also fun with shadows because it gives you sort of that general outside shape and then you have to kind of work your way in to get the different colors painted I am gonna add a little bit more to the branches and then we're gonna go ahead and add some pen in to add some definition. So again, I'm just mixing this orange red color and we're just going back in. Now that I've added some more definition to different leaves, I can see places that can use more branches. So we will paint them in. All right, so at this point, if you guys wanted to, you could stop and leave your painting as it is. Um, I love combining ink with my watercolor painting, so I'm going to add some pen in now. But yeah, if you guys are practicing with this, the idea is to practice with your shading, your shapes, with your watercolor. So don't feel obligated to add the pen, but it is really fun and really satisfying. So that is what we're gonna do now. So I'm just gonna pick a branch and start with it. So I'll start with this top one here. And I can see we have the little flowers, so I'm just gonna outline them. And again, sort of like I did with the shadow, I'm doing a very loose outline. So I'm not necessarily following exactly where I see the leaves, but I'm just adding some more definition. So I can see that there's a branch moving down here, and then we have another leaf coming in front. And then we have a big one in behind. So I'm just gonna work my way down. And along the branch that comes down, in some spots I'm just doing a single line, some spots I'll do a double. As I look here, I can see the leaves sort of folding over. We have another one folding over here. So again, I'm keeping to the very loose lines, um, just sort of letting my pen move, not being super meticulous about it being really straight. And we'll just keep working our way down. The branch is a little thicker down here, so I'm gonna do the double line. And we're gonna add the little leaves in. When I'm painting with this style, this seems to be one of the most satisfying parts of painting is adding the pen, especially when you 
or painting specifically without adding too much detail. It seems to just bring the painting to life. It's have another little cluster of flowers there. And then here I can see the leaf seems to fold in. Just continue to work our way down. Some more leaves clustered in here. So the other thing too is often with leaves, we assume they all come to a very specific point. But when I'm looking here, I can see that they're sort of rounded at the edges. So just working on looking at your picture and drawing loosely the shapes that you see. So this one I had a leaf that's folded over. And now we'll move to our last little section here. So there are some more of the little um, pink buds there so I'm actually gonna go back in as soon as I'm done this with my pink paint and just add them in and see a big leaf in behind And I do see some veining in the leaves when I look at the picture. So I'm just gonna draw some of that in, but I'm not actually gonna do it to all the leaves. So we're just gonna go in and add some veining. I'm using right now the Micron number two pen. Um, so it is 0.3 millimeters. So really thin lines to just give it a nice delicate look there. All right, and I'm just gonna go back and add in that little bit of pink paint where I missed it. And once you guys add in your pen, if you feel like you want to add more color shading details anywhere, then you can go ahead and do that. Um, often I'll take a step back from my painting, look at it and see if I feel like it's missing anything. So in this case, when I'm looking at the leaves, I can see some yellow in there. So I'm just gonna go and paint a little bit with yellow into my painting. So I'm doing a little bit of glazing here by painting directly on top of my dry paint. If you guys want a tutorial on some glazing techniques, let me know in the comments below. And I can show you guys, cause it is fun. It adds a lot to your paintings as soon as you start to get to know what colors to use and things like that. All right, so that is all we have for our loose shadow painted watercolor leaves tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you either followed along or if you guys did this test on your own with your own branch, flower, leaves, whatever, make sure to take a picture of it, send it to me or tag me on Instagram at Alexandra Victoria Studio. I absolutely love seeing what you guys are painting. And if you need any help with anything, then also let me know there. I would love to see and chat with you. If you haven't already, make sure to like this video and subscribe. See you next time.